Hello everybody, um, I wish that uh, you are doing well. So today I'm going to discuss about the theorem of Stampak. Yeah? Uh, first, uh, firstly, we have to present uh, some uh, notions that we will need in this paper. So definition, a bilinear form A uh, from H times H to R is said to be continuous if there exists or there is a constant uh, C such that this uh, inequation is verified for every U and V in H. Uh, secondly, uh, form A is said to be coercive if there is a constant alpha positive, strictly positive, such that this inequation is verified for every V in H. Okay, uh, so now we can announce the theorem of Stampakia. Yeah? Assume that A is a continuous coercive bilinear form on H. H is an Hilbert space. Let K, a subspace of H, be a non-empty, non closed and convex. Then given any phi in H star, there exists a unique element u in k such that this inequation is verified for every v in k. So, before demonstrating the, this theorem, the theorem of Stampakia, let's remind three fundamental theorems which we will need in the proof. First theorem is Banach fixed bound theorem. The theorem is let X be a non empty complete metric space and let S a map, a map uh, from X to X be a strict contraction. That means that the distance between S in V1 and S in V2 is less than K times the distance between V1 and V2 for every V1 and V2 in X with k is strictly less than 1. Then S has a unique, the theorem says that S has a unique fixed bound u equals S u. Okay. Uh, the second theorem which we will need is raises free shear representation theorem. So given any phi in H star there exists a unique f in H such that phi in uh, U equals to the scalar product of f and U for every U in H. The third and the last uh, theorem that we would need is the projection onto a class convex set. So the theorem says let k a subspace of h closed convex then for every f in h there exists a unique element u in k such that the distance between f and the subspace k is equal to the minimum of the norm of f minus v for every v in k moreover U is characterized by the by this by this property. Okay. So if uh, an element uh, U is verifying this uh, this inequation, uh, we say that this element is the projection of F into K, and this denoted by this symbolization. Okay. So now we have the means to, to demonstrate uh, the theorem of Stampakia. Yeah? <coughs> Sorry. From the, so from the Rhesus free shear representation theorem, we know that uh, there exists a unique f in H such that phi in V is equal to the scalar product of phi and V for every V in H. On the other hand, if we fix u in H, the map which gives for every v uh, the quantity 
a u v is a continuous linear function on h using once more the rhesus frisci representation theory we find some unique element in h denoted by a u such that a in u v is equal to the scalar product of a u and v for every v in h so clearly a is a linear operator from h into h satisfying these two inequations for every u in h so it amounts to finding some u in k such that this inequation is verified for every v in k so lit true is a uh, strictly positive constant to be deter determined later now that is equivalent to this inequation for every v in k this uh, this inequation is equivalent to this uh, it need just to it needs just just to multiplying this quantity by uh, rho and uh, add uh, the quantity u minus u so that mean that means that uh, u is equal to the projection of rho f minus rho a u plus u onto k for every v in k uh, now sit uh, the map s s in v equal this projection we claim that if rho is strictly positive is properly chosen then s is a strict contraction indeed since the projection onto k does not increase distance this is a property of this is a property of uh, uh, the map projections generally so we have this inequation and if we rise in, uh, in into the power 2 we will have these two inequations okay now chosen rho strictly positive in such a way that k square is equal to 1 minus 2 rho, 2 rho alpha plus uh, rho square times c square is strictly less than 1 that means that rho is strictly between 0 and 2 alpha over the quantity c square we find that s has a unique fixed bound and that ends the proof of the uh, theorem of Stampakia and thank you for your attention.